It's hard to believe that 2022 is almost over and we have covered so much ground this year on Ellie and Space, but I realized I actually stayed true to a New Year's resolution that I made and it's not your typical resolution. I had a goal in mind to travel every single month for the channel to bring you unique content and turns out sometimes I did that more than once in a month and I have a list. I want to go through some of the favorite moments of 2022. I know some of you might be new to the channel, so I wanted to give you a little refresher and show you some of the major milestones that we've had just in this year alone. And remember, I've only been full time on YouTube since June. So the first half of the year, we were still able to accomplish that goal. It was a doozy just to go through the past year and we've had some major highlights. In fact, we started off the year strong flying to go visit and interview Scott Manley. I met Elon Musk later in the year. We've been to several Tesla events. I've been to Starbase a number of times this year. So we'll start off no, I'm just kidding. Let's show you. All the way back in January, when I originally made this goal, that is when I traveled to the San Francisco area to interview Scott Manley at his house. Again, Scott, thank you for letting me do that. I had so much fun asking you a ton of very hard questions. Yeah, I've, uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to get be famous as a DJ, but I, I rock the parties that I rocked, but yeah. never enough parties to really make it a a major thing. I wonder if now with your following, you could. I don't think I'd have the spare time, to be honest. <laughs> ah, yeah. California knows how to party. California. We, we I have... am a California girl. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, you know, of course, the first thing to do is... Yes. I also was able to interview my old astronomy professor from college about going to Mars. And then he is a person that could make this happen, uh, but he's going to need a lot of very intelligent, smart people to put the actual plan together and make it work. February was also busy. I went to see Giga Texas before the grand opening. This was my first trip to Austin. I hung out with Matt Holm and Anwar Beck. These two guys are big in the Tesla community. They are real estate entrepreneurs and they were really great hosts during my time in Austin. Plus they really have their finger on the pulse with Giga Texas and how this is just the beginning of a radically different Austin, Texas. And then I went on my second trip to Starbase. That's where I interviewed Lewis, AKA Lab Padre and learned more about his 24 seven streaming operation. Hobbies. Walking on the beach, looking at rockets being built. March was extremely busy as well. This is when I published the new community video. This is a modular housing development in Austin, Texas. This actually turned out to be the top performing video and still is on my channel, Ellie in Space, go figure. So if you haven't seen it, I will link that as well as every single video that I am discussing in the description. This is an example of the new community starter studio. It is four modules and each module is 80 square feet. And let's take a look around the corner here just so that you can see kind of what it looks like from the outside. Now, April, of course, I went to Cyber Rodeo. This story was actually insane. I flew to Austin without a ticket, which was pretty bold, and turned out two days before I checked my Twitter DMs, I had an unread DM request from someone who I'd never met, an employee of Tesla who invited me as his plus one, and that was just so amazing, and I want to thank him for letting me be a part of that experience because I will never forget it. And I wasn't just in Austin for Cyber Rodeo, I also helped host TeslaCon Texas, the first one ever. And I think that you guys really enjoyed these videos. We ran into some familiar faces, Sandy Monroe, Meet Kevin, Tim Dodd, and this was just the beginning. And really when I started thinking, hey, maybe I should do this full time. My son In May, I wanted to take that love of electric vehicles a little further and try a Rivian test drive with someone who actually I sort of met at my climbing gym. It was the first time I saw a Rivian in Salt Lake City. 
And so I put a business card on the window of his car and wrote that I would like to do a video about his truck. And so that is how this video came to be. I saw this in the parking lot of my climbing gym the other day. And so I decided to use the good old fashioned business card, put it on the window, try and get a hold of the owner so that we could do a review. And luckily enough, he responded. In June, I had my third trip to Starbase and this was interesting. I covered the real estate situation in the area. Some people uh, have complained that SpaceX is taking up too much room, but others would argue that SpaceX is bringing this community back to life. So that is a very interesting video. I also released a video about why I quit TV news because I quit my job May 20th and you can learn more about that in that video. But this was a big turning point for me and we're only halfway through 2022. July was a little bit slower since I was helping my sister move. So in a way I was traveling, it wasn't necessarily for the channel. But while I was in Missouri, I did some digging and found an astronaut who taught at a school near my sister and decided to interview her. And I just loved that interview. If you missed it. Here is a little bit of that. Some of my favorite time on every mission was having some alone time, listening to music, and just watching an orbit as we went on our planet in 90 minutes. Because you could see city lights where people were, you know, you could see lightning. It was just calm and peaceful. And you do find yourself thinking, why can't we all get along? I mean, because up here, we share that planet. That's the most huge commonality thing we could ever have you know, to take care of this planet. And, and we just have, we should have struggled with that through millennia. So we, you see from up there and you think, oh my gosh, you know, we should just, Everyone why can't, every, if everybody could actually go see that and maybe you could take some of the other elements out of what drives a lot of conflict. Also later in the month, I went to Las Vegas and I caught a glimpse of the boring company passenger station, which brought me back in August because I was so intrigued and I wanted to actually ride through the tunnel when it was active, which is not 24 seven, by the way. So August was extremely busy. We got to go to the shareholder meeting and this was kind of nuts because it was a lottery drawing. So. I really couldn't believe my eyes when I got an email that I had been selected. We also had another new community update while I was in Austin. I wanted to see the progress that they were making. And then I had my first stop at Boxable and many of you guys liked this video. Boxable makes low cost houses that unfold in less than two hours. They're easy to set up, they're affordable and Elon was actually the first customer. So one of those is in the Starbase area. We also finally got to go through the Vegas loop while it was illuminated. Now, yes, it would be a little cooler if there weren't a driver, but it was still a great experience and definitely saved some time walking. We're going 40 feet underground right now. We are here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. September might have been the busiest of all of the months. We had the SLS attempt that I flew to Florida for. Of course, that was scrubbed and delayed, but I also met and interviewed Felix from What About It? Also Tim Dodd, which I had been chasing this interview around for months. So thank you for making that work, Tim. Hey guys, I have a special announcement to make. I've actually decided to go back into TV news. I'm going to be working for NBC Connecticut and I'm really for like the thousandth time. This is not NBC. This is my, this is my news van. Okay. Everybody astronaut. Okay, everyone. Here's the big reveal. Yes, I finally got my awesome interview with Tim Dodd. I'm not going back into TV news, so don't worry. But this is his recently converted van, and I'm so glad that he was able to grace us with an interview. Oh. Have you ever made a video before for YouTube? <laughs> I've thought about it one day. Maybe <laughs> making a YouTube video. So here we are, just two YouTubers leaving Starbucks with our mobile offices, our MacBook Pros. I also did a video about the Tesla solar roof because I thought it was interesting. And apparently you guys did too, because that is the second best performing video on my channel. Interesting that both of the best videos on my channel are not space related, but don't worry, I will continue to make space content. We just need Starship to launch. I also saw my first rocket launch. Now granted, it wasn't Artemis, 
but it was a Falcon 9 launch and yes, it almost made me cry. And side note, I had a launch in a plaid for the first time, the Model X plaid. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Good job. That was good. And one more thing in September, I did a follow-up interview in person with the Ho Tribe. I had interviewed them originally virtually during the pandemic because they were some of the first people to use Starlink in the Better Than Nothing beta days. I happened to be in the area and so I drove out to Forks, Washington State and interviewed them about what their Starlink experience has been like. So that was... Uh, a lot in September. But of course, things didn't slow down in October. I drove down to California. It was my first Tesla road trip. That was an interesting experience. And I wanted to interview people at AI Day. I didn't originally have a ticket. Circumstances changed and I was able to get in through some sort of change of rules at the last minute, but thank you to Chuck Cook for helping me with that. And then after the presentation, I met Elon Musk, which was pretty cool. I gave him my uh, 3D printed Tesla bot, but as you can see, I have a replacement. And I would go back to Florida in October to chop up some Starlinks. Again, this was for a good cause. We were modifying these Starlinks to put them on rescue vehicles during the Hurricane Ian aftermath. Later in the month, I also went to the Ascend Space Conference. This was a three-day space conference with industry leaders, and I met a lot of great people and got some good coverage of that event as well. I hope to be back next year. I also did another tour of Boxable. Hey guys, so here's our first look at Factory 2. This video didn't really get a lot of views and I'm not sure why because I thought it was a great follow-up. So if you haven't watched it already, maybe you could take a look. But I will say if you wanna watch it, you will see me do an epic face plant. Well, now we're in November. Can you believe it? We've already been to so many states and seen so many things, but we're not done yet. However, we're going back to Florida because I wanted to uh, cover the Falcon Heavy launch. Uh, unfortunately, I was in the feel the heat section of the Kennedy Space Center. This was like the closest you could get to the pad. And it also happened to be one of the only places that was completely fogged out. So that was a little bit depressing, but I was able to provide some coverage of this event and of course hear the rumble, feel it a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was, that was tough because we love the visuals of a rocket launch. But don't worry, just over two weeks later, I went back to Florida because SLS was finally gonna do it, or at least we were hoping so. Turns out, it did. To the moon! <laughs> We also had the Tesla Semi delivery. I was there in spirit, so I can't really say I traveled for this one, but I did intend to travel for this one. I didn't get an invite. I was hoping to maybe interview people around the area, but the weather was pretty bad. And so I did not attempt that, but some of you are new to the channel through those Tesla Semi videos. So thank you for joining Ellie in Space and hopefully some of these older videos pique your interest. All right, so that was a lot. But wait, Ellie, you forgot about December. Where are you traveling to keep your New Year's resolution? Well, if you live in the Austin area, come join me at the new community sneak peek holiday party. This will be Saturday, December 17th at noon, and it is free to anyone who wants to come meet Santa. New Community will be celebrating the holiday season with a special event for future residents, family, friends, and everyone who's in the holiday spirit. And I just wanted to thank all of you. One of the things that inspired me to make this video is I listen to Spotify and every year they do a Spotify wrapped, which is personalized based on what music you listen to. Uh, it'll tell you things like how many minutes you listen to music that year, your top 100 songs. And so I think that while I want the channel to grow and I'm working full time now, and of course, want to continue to succeed, it's important that we take a step back and see just all of the milestones 
and interesting people that we've got to meet along the way. So I'm really excited for 2023. In fact, I'll give you a little preview of some of the things that I already have planned. It is time to show up and experience the future of innovation up close. So I'm planning to go to Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show. This is something that actually my dad has gone to every year for several years, and I still have never been, so I'm excited to go to that and hopefully find something unique to share with you guys there. And then, yes, if Starship launches in January, I fully intend to be there because I will drop everything to go. So the only question on that is, will they launch in January? We still don't know, but it has been a great year. And I just want to thank every single person on my channel who supports the channel. If you want to continue to support Alien Space, please make sure to check out my Patreon, or if you don't wanna use Patreon, there is a little join button there. It's only $4.99 a month, and every single person that supports the channel really helps to keep it going, because as many of you know, if you know a content creator, the income is pretty variable. So we wanna keep this going, and I'm just so excited for 2023, and that we will get to share it together.